It's just a demonstration of beauty and art. Two different stories. Hello hey. everyone, what's up? I'm Zoe. I'm Morgan. And we're back with another Genshin video. Today we're going to be reacting to the Symphony of Burial Wind. That is Andrea's boss fight, phase one and phase two. It's that cool little wolf boss. Yes. Yeah. That Zoe took forever to beat in the beginning. No, no, he was the one I thought was relatively easy in comparison to the rest. A little backstory, Andreas happens to be one of the four winds that protect one's dad. Out of that, Valen is one of the four winds as well. And uh, today we're just reacting to Andreas, the wolf boss. And it's funny because I thought he was like a friend. Yeah, he's a friend. Yeah, but then we gotta fight him. In the beginning I was like, bitch, why you turn on us? And then I realized it was just like a death. <laughs> Starts with a lot of mystery. Mm. It You can actually see a dark cave. I can actually yeah. see a dark cave and something mysterious lurking beneath. It feels like tribal almost, like if you're in a like a forest area. Mm. Like the big drum sounds. I don't know if like if I knew that this was a wolf, would I have known? But I actually see a cave, a den, and a dark, mysterious, mysterious like animal lurking beneath. You know how you feel when a giant is walking? It's like that, like the giant's footsteps. Like you don't see anything but you hear the footsteps, like almost like Jurassic Park. Dinosaurs coming to your legs. The quiet. It was fighting, it was not that threatening, and it's simmered down, but something's yet to come. That's what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling like we're still leading up to something, but nothing's really hitting yet. Mm. Something mysterious was there, and it's still looking like we don't know what's happening. Like there's something. I like I, this section oh, of fuck. I feel like something's opening up. That's the end of first phase. I feel in the end, like it was a lot of mystery in the beginning and in the end we just, like we are not, we are very scared of this, uh, something is lurking in this den. Very constrictive notes were there in the beginning. In the end it opened up with such nice soothing tones, which was very unexpected and I feel like that unexpectedness was the fact that I was so scared of this thing that was lurking inside in this den. And it's revealed itself and it looks majestic and mm. huge and calming, is Very what nice. I saw. That's really interesting because I don't think that, like, I felt like everything in the music was leading up to that or like teasing us in a way without actually coming to any kind of conclusion. So in my head, I still haven't seen the creature yet. Because to me, it's like, just imagine, okay, Slender Man, the aim of the game is 
to run away from this character so he doesn't find you and the whole time you're doing it it's that feeling of like oh something scary is going to happen to me now or oh, I'm going to get caught or oh, I'm going to see this beast but it hasn't happened yet is what I feel oh now 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 I think it's like mystery again what does this creature want We're getting to somewhere, to the beginning of the end. Oh. I see a battle. I don't. I see a battle, but there is... There is no ill intent in this battle. Like I don't see anger. I see a dance, I don't see a battle. There's no fight for me. The volume dynamics. Telling a story. Two different stories. This section. Can we pause? I feel like we're telling two completely different stories. But you know when I said like that feeling of getting caught, right? For me, I don't see any kind of battle or fight. Initially, I saw a dance. But now I'm getting that very mysterious but suspicious feeling of like, Ooh. for example, an affair. Like just imagine someone is cheating on someone and this act is happening while on the other side of the screen, they're, they're trying to find out what's happening. So he, they're about to get caught, but not really getting caught. It's giving me that feeling of more like, we are doing something wrong and you're about to get caught. It's giving me that little mystery vibe. Interesting, that sounds viable enough. I see what, why you would say that, mm. to be honest. For me, it's, I, I'm telling you, like there was this majestic creature. I don't know if you've watched our reaction to Sumeru battle theme, if you haven't, check it out. But I think it was Swirls of Shamshir, mm. where I said that it was a dance. It was almost like a choreographed dance that was a fight sequence. And I see the same thing here as well. It was like a choreography of fight, but very graceful and very majestic and uh, two parties are just going at it with each other. It's just a demonstration of beauty and art and there is no ill intent there. It's just like a practice of fight. I'm flowing with every little rhythm, every little sway of all the notes. Yeah, this is the first time a boss fight theme is not giving me a fight. It's mm -hmm. more, it's giving me something else. It's giving me a dance and it's giving me a mystery. The running piano in the background is just so beautiful. Now we're deciding the victor, I feel. 
for me it's more like the side of the people that's having doing the cheating and all of that and the side of the people that are trying to catch them so it's like that kind of a battle are they going to get caught are they not I think <coughs> towards the end of it, when the wind instruments started coming in, the horns and everything, I think that was very grand and I, I just saw this championship. So it was a demonstrative fight in the beginning and then towards the end I just saw a championship and then it was very regal and I just saw like a Quidditch, Quidditch match of Harry Potter's, you know, like who's going to win the championship? Like it's very dramatic, like the person who's going to win is, is, is the victor and stuff but I mean in the grand scheme of things it might not mean that much but there's so much heroism, so much glamour has given to this specific thing which is not, it's not like life or death situation, it's not going to harm anyone there's no ill intent in this it's just a match between two people and it is not about oh yeah i killed this person it's more like i won so it was basically a demonstrative fight the end result of which would be winning a specific championship hence there's a lot of like uh, grand sounds given in the end so it was very show-offy to me like it was all about the glamour in the end Mm. For me, picture this, okay, this is exactly what I had going on. Imagine two people who are not meant to be together in one room, okay, clearly breaking all the rules. While on the other hand, all these guards and whoever the hell who has opposed this rule on them is trying to search this entire big mansion or castle for them, to catch them. And the entire piece was just a mix of the two, so it would shift to the choir parts and the vocal parts and the piano parts which show the two people that are doing the wrong thing or could be the right thing for them and then when it switches to those heavier bum uh, bum type uh, stuff it that's when it pans to the people who are searching through this house to find them or catch them in the act and as it builds up to the end I was expecting them to either be caught or not and when it got to the end and it was just silent it's like you build up, build up, these people have gone up the steps, found the room and the doors open and see. Oh, wow. That's what I felt with no results because I don't know if they were caught or not. Wow, interesting. She right? created some story. I had a full story. She was like imagery. Yeah. That's it for today. If you agree with either of our theories and felt the same thing too or felt something totally different, let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give this video a like, a share, a subscribe. And also, please don't forget to press the bell notification button. It lets you know every time we make a video that is at every Friday. Friday, just Friday. like today. Like today. Until next time, see Until you next time. Until next time, bye. Bye.